Also making news tonight, work on the Milo Butler Highway here in New Providence is progressing after a short delay. Minister of Works, the Honorable Desmond Bannister, told reporters yesterday that the ultimate goal is to provide a safe and smooth ride for all motorists. And if you, if you go on that highway from 8 a.m. in the morning till about 10 a.m., you'll see a constant line of traffic. So it's incumbent upon us to ensure that that road is very, very safe for the driving public. Uh, when, when our engineers uh, checked it, they were concerned about a number of factors. And so it was important for them for us to have it repaved. And it's easier to repave that uh, than many other roads in New Providence because we don't have a lot of the strictures we have uh, with pipes, etc., under the highway. Minister Bannister explained how Works Ministry officials regularly assess roads, and he added that they experience setbacks at times due to the nature of the work. You know, we have an exercise that goes on here every Monday where we have all the utility companies that come here and they go road by road for New Providence. But before we could do any paving, they have to go in. Water and sewage has to go in, BPL, cable, all of them have to go in and do whatever remedial works they have. We don't have such challenges with that highway. And so we're able to get that done fairly quickly and we're able to ensure that the public that uses that highway has a safe driving experience. Um, just for the record, every road we pave, we have kickbacks. Uh, when we pave sea breeze, we had kickbacks. But look at it now. Everywhere we go, we're having challenges as people don't understand the importance of us making sure that the driving experience is safe. And that's what our job is.